Hello, today I have the Edge Sumatra by Rocky Patel in Toro. I had the Torpedo when I did have it before, but this was a Toro for $4.99. Nice barnyard chocolate. Smell, it's about to rain. Very perfect day to be smoking on here. Very nice, beautiful smell along the edge. On the foot, chocolate graham cracker. The chocolate graham cracker smell with hay. The creamy barnyard on the side with chocolate. Let's get some nice chocolate. You know it's already in the smell. In this wrapper, tough to say how yellow it is, but it's been sitting there a little bit anyway. Uh, so I'm going to cut this. Earthy, chocolatey hay. This edge being always tough. This is an oily wrapper, by the way. Packed firmly with very few air pockets. Original edge. it up and start smoking it. So far it tastes pretty good. Nice silvery appearance. That looks good. Mm. So far, great flavors. Toasted flavors. Toasted pumpernickel. Toasted pumpernickel bread with a little bit of brown sugar very oily and nice consistency is great this is going to be a very good cigar I can tell you right now there's nothing bitter about it it is smooth as hell Hail a very nice brown sugary sweetness. A little bit of cocoa powder, cinnamon, slight cinnamon. I'm supposed to look a brown sugary taste. <laughs> a lot of black pepper on the retro hail, actually. And there's a nice overall even burn with a little slip right there, but. This is so far very good smoke, so I will come back and see what progress it's going to make. I don't know, 25 minutes in, the flavor is still burning nicely, like a very toasted, um, toasted flavors all the way around. Very good toasted light chocolate and brown sugar, brown sugary milk chocolate.
combination of milk chocolate and dark chocolate and brown sugar. Of times I was tasting like a white bread note, like when you smell the white bread, a close kind of thing. But overall, toasted pompanico is what I got for bread. Most of it. Mostly a chocolate base right now coming out. Chocolatey sweetness, goodness. Try a nice black pepper spice. Nice black pepper and chocolate. Creamy chocolate notes. A little bit of espresso note. Definite espresso notes coming out. Medium bodied. Medium bodied cigar. It could fool you. Depending on what you eat, I guess, beforehand. But so far, it's a comfortable smoke. I recommend you eat a little something, but it's 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 a good medium, a robust medium is what I would call the edge Sumatra in Toro. Oh well, bird and dice it even. Very very good construction on it. I think the edge, most of them are pretty good. In my eyes, there are a few that are not good at all, but a lot of them, from my experience, you get them in this, like Sumatra, the Maduro, the Connecticut, the Edge Light. I'm a fan of the Edge Light, because it's mild and it's got a lot of flavor to it. This also does. This might be one of my favorite edges right here in Toro. The one in Torpedo I had at a cigar bar, a fancy cigar bar in Sarasota, wasn't as good as this one, though. This is a better Edge Sumatra when it isn't in Torpedo, and it is in Toro, my opinion. Talk to you later. about 35 to 40 minutes in smoking very good and solid I haven't drew on it for about three minutes now Let's see how it kept its light it's kind of just getting a little syrupy and a little tie like so I, I put it down for a little bit wiped it a little bit Still with all its excellent flavors. Earthy mushroom, chocolate, espresso notes. Great smoke output still. But a nice cream of mushroom. Chocolate taste, very good, very, very nice. Um, it's a cigar I enjoy. You know I'm retro -hailing. Black peppery. Sweetness. Slight cinnamon. Mostly chocolate. Earth. <laughs> Coffee grounds. Excellent smoke output. So there, I'll come back in a little bit. It's a nice smoke though. I really like this one. About 55 minutes, roughly estimating. Look at that light goes in here still, even in the day. Medium to full. Earthy flavors mostly. A little bit increased heartburn. 
tar content looks to be pretty high, but not overly moist, but it's still building up into a very dark brown, blackish looking. Nice raw, still sweet, brown sugary chocolate. Same flavor profile, not many variations. This is a consistent flavored cigar. Not a whole lot of variation. What you find is what's typically going to stay, is what I see. Not overly complex, but very good and solid. Good deal. Nice cigar. A little bit of the dark ash on here now. smoke very good smoke even burn all around good I, I recommend getting it it won't break the bank it's better than a lot of other Rocky Patels I think <clears throat> better than a decade better than a good amount of his um, the sun grown orange label that's more expensive of his might be good though. I haven't given that a try. But the edge, good value for the money here. You're smoking a very premium cigar. Consistent flavor profiles and all that. So, Retro Hill Extreme Black, Black Pepper. A little bit of Gouda cheese now. A little slight mushroom. And it's a spice bomb out the retro hair right now. Definitely clean your sinuses up. So I'll be back in a little bit to review the rest. Hour and ten minutes down to the nub, just about final third in the nub. Um, nice toasted flavors now. A little bit more bitterness than before, but I attribute it to the length of time I've been smoking it in the tar content right now. Probably one of the only cigar reviewers who mentions tar content that's building up. kind of important though because when you're running low on your drink you want to update how it's going peeling right there cracking at the end because as long as it's not where I puff you know if it's at the front it's better always I'd rather take a crack a little more toward the ash then where I draw it on the rear. Still going well, burning even. Gonna slow it down a little more. As soon as I draw on it, I get the temptation to draw on it a lot. So, <laughs> Retro Hill extremely black pepper spice, and a lot of black pepper, coating it with some chocolate espresso notes and earth. So, there's that. But I'm going to end the review right now. We have a Rocky Patel Edge Sumatra and Toro. I'll talk to you later.